In this video today, I'm going to teach you how to build your own mental health routine. Before we get into that, let me introduce myself really quick. My name is Brandon Epstein and on this channel here, I teach mental fitness training. Mental fitness training is very simple. It helps you train yourself so you get better at controlling your focus and your choices because ultimately those are the only two things that we do have control over. Everything else is outside of our control except for our focus and choices. So along with the mental health routine today, I'm going to be talking to you about how you can better train your focus and make better choices to feel better consistently because let's face it, no one came here to get a mental health routine because they just think it's a fun thing to do, right? We want the result. We want to feel good. We want to feel less stressed, less anxious, less sad, more happy, more fulfilled, more peaceful. And that's 100% possible when you train. The funny thing is right now, it's not really a mainstream thing for anyone to have a mental health routine. And so this may be the first time you're hearing about this, but I actually pulled some people in my community on Instagram and I asked them what, if they wanted something like this and they said yes. So I figured, let me make the video, let me give you an example of what this could be so you can set yourself up to have more peace, more happiness, more joy in your life, more overall fulfillment. All right, so, Mental health routine, where do we begin? Let's begin by comparing it to something that I think most of us are pretty familiar with, which is a workout routine, right? Funny enough, 30, 40, 50 years ago, it wasn't a mainstream thing to have a workout routine. Most people didn't have a workout routine. Maybe they had a physically demanding job or if they're a professional athlete, they did, but the average Joe or Sue or Muhammad, we weren't doing a consistent workout routine, right? That wasn't part of the mainstream culture. But as things evolved, we got to a point where we really, that we've realized that if we work out for at least 30 minutes a day, you know, three to five times a week, it helps us live longer, feel better, way less, just your life is better, right? I don't need to sell you on the benefits of working out and having a workout routine. So comparatively to that, if you're bought into a workout routine can be a good thing. We're just gonna say, we're doing something very similar here with the mental health routine. And I'm gonna be honest, I labeled this video mental health routine just because I know that's what people call it. I really don't like it. I feel like mental health has this stigma around it. It sounds, I don't know, boring, negative. So I'm just using it because it's the, the common verbiage. But really, I would consider this to be a mental performance routine because usually mental health means, okay, you're sick, so let's get you to baseline. Um, I would rather think about, okay, even if you are mentally sick, mentally ill, let's bring you to baseline and then having you perform your best, right? That's where I want to get you. And this is very possible. And the reason why uh, half the people in the US, for example, will experience mental health illness at some point in their life is because most people don't train, right? It's the same reason why people have obesity and are overweight. For the most part, people aren't doing the things they need to do. They're not training physically, they're not eating the right amount of food and all that good stuff. So you gotta ask yourself right now, where are we starting from? What are you doing? What are you feeding yourself? What are you feeding your mind to make yourself feel better? Okay, so the first place I would start would just be starting small, committing to one action a day to start your day, to prime yourself, to put yourself in a good state of being to operate and have momentum to flow through the rest of your day. Now, if you go along, if you go around to a lot of personal development YouTube channels, um, personal development content in general, there's a lot of pressure that gets put on you around. You gotta wait up at 5 a.m. or 6 a.m. and then you gotta, you gotta read your personal development book and you gotta meditate and you gotta do your gratitude and then you have to do your affirmations. All of that, honestly, I don't think it's sustainable. And ultimately, it's about what you personally want and what you're gonna be consistent with. If you're not consistent, if it doesn't become a habit, it doesn't matter, we might as well not say it at all. So that's why I tell you to start your mental health routine, pick one thing that you're gonna do each day before you get into your work routine or family routine or anything or school routine, before you go and leave and enter the world, start with this thing to prime yourself. Now there are a lot of things you can do. I'm gonna give you some options right now. Option number one, take five minutes and just practice gratitude. And it's as simple as closing your eyes and just going through all the things you're grateful for in your mind and even trying to visualize them and feeling the emotions of those. So for me, I like to start each day with visualizing and feeling the gratitude for, oh, I've got feet to walk and legs 
and I have all my senses working. I can see, I can taste, I can smell, I can hear. And so whether you do or not, I want you to go through this inventory of all the things you do have to be grateful for. Because a lot of people get themselves in an anxious state because they're focusing on what they don't have. They're focusing on not having enough. So this is prime yourself the rest of the day to focus on having more than enough. So be grateful for the health that you do have. Be grateful for the food that you are able to put in your belly, for the roof that is over your head, for the friends and or family that are there to support you in your inner circle, for the money you do have in the bank. So the physical health you do have, right? So run through all these things you're especially grateful for, and then you can even practice gratitude for just things you have in your life, right? Oh, I'm really grateful I have a phone because it gives me access to whatever you use your phone for. Computer, um, clothes on your back. There's so many things to be grateful for. And when you prime yourself, what you're doing is you're not just going through the motions of, okay, like I got to do this mental health thing because it's good for me. It's going to make me feel better. You're really putting yourself in a state of abundance and putting your body in a more relaxed state where you can grow peacefully instead of going into your day feeling anxious and rushed. I mean, what do you want? You want to feel anxious or grateful? I would always choose gratitude. So there you go. Gratitude is a great place to start. And again, there's not going to be anything probably new that you're going to hear in this video, but I want you to be real with yourself and ask yourself, what would you be 10 out of 10 confident following through with? If you're like, oh, gratitude is easy for me. Okay, we'll stack something on top of gratitude. Let's go gratitude and then let's do another five minutes of guided meditation. So on this YouTube channel, for example, I have dozens of free meditations available. I also have a mobile app linked up below with a ton of premium guided meditations as well. So you can take a few minutes and prime yourself in that way. Get yourself into the present moment, get yourself dropped into a nice flow state, feeling good here and now. It's a great thing you can stack as well. Or you can use that in replacement of your gratitude. I like to think about it this way. Not everyone likes to do the same exercise that I do. I do jump rope. That's my main type of like functional exercise along with bodyweight exercises. I also do boxing. Most people don't like get punched. Most people don't like to get punched in the face. So I say, well, what do you like? Do you want to go play volleyball? Do you want to go running? Do you want to lift weights? Do you want to do CrossFit? Think about the same way, the same way you would build your physical uh, workout routine. You don't have to do things you don't like. Pick mental health things, things that feed your mind and your emotions and your spirit and do those to start your day. So we've got gratitude. We've got meditation, guide meditations, a bunch of them available for you here. You've got prayer. You can do a prayer to start the day. You can take 15 minutes and just walk around your block. Just go for a morning walk and just focus on the breath coming in your nose and out your nose and just be with that breath. Just that alone is going to get you in the present moment and is going to prime you to have a great day. Mental health routine is there's really infinite amount of things you can do. And if you want to go down the rabbit hole, we have everything from uh, energy training um, to reading. You know, one of the things I mentioned earlier is reading books, personal development books that get you primed for the day. Some people who are religious like to read the Bible and some, vice, some verses in there. Um, you've got to find out what works best for you. What works best for me is prime myself every single day with the mental health routine of listening to my beliefs. So I actually have written out all the beliefs that I have and I recorded them on audio and I listen to them every morning before I get out of bed because what that does is during that state of being uh, very relaxed and coming out of sleep, you're, you're not in your normal wakeful beta brain waves. You're actually in alpha brain waves. And this puts you into a state where you can access that subconscious and feed it messages. So that's why I listen to my beliefs every day. It's what I have my clients do. And if you grab that mental fitness guide or you have my app, you'll see I have you go through the same process in there to do what I do. So that's my favorite thing. And then honestly, I see what I need on a day by day, day by day basis beyond that. If I feel myself starting to get anxious and I'm like, oh, I'm like, okay, I should probably go for a walk in nature or I should probably just take five minutes just to breathe mindfully or listen to a guided meditation. So big picture, what I want you to do is pick one thing that you believe you can do consistently every day. It can be five minutes even. Just start with that. Schedule it into your routine. Make it a non-negotiable for you so you can stick with it. 
And if you love it and you wanna do more, then do it. But this is the same advice I give people on my other YouTube channel, The Jump Rope Dudes. They're like, how do I start working out consistently? Well, it starts with just committing to five minutes of jumping rope a day. And a lot of times people start jump rope for five minutes and they're like, well, I already have my gym clothes on, I'm already here, I'm doing the thing, I might as well do 30 minutes. And this is kind of the intention here. At least if you get that five minutes in each day and you are consistent with it, that's gonna prime you to have a much better day to bring you into a much better state of mind. But if you're feeling like you wanna do more and you end up meditating for 30 minutes, that's great because it's, it's a, literally a buffet. There's so many things you can do to get yourself to feel good by just applying a little bit of focus. And so meditation, you can do affirmations. You can listen to your beliefs. You can read, you can pray, you can do breath work. Um, a lot of yogis do this and now it's starting to get into the mainstream of doing other types of breath work, kind of holotropic breath work. All that stuff is awesome. You gotta find out what works for you and what you're gonna stick with, okay? So don't go around looking for a guru, someone who's gonna tell you, hey, this is what you have to do. No, okay? That's not how it works. You have to figure this out on a personal basis, what can be a part of your consistent routine. And whatever that is, I want you to start with it. And if you can do that five minutes, you wanna stretch it out, you wanna do 30 minutes, that's cool. If you need some more later in the day, if you feel, feel yourself getting really angry and you wanna let go of that, go take a break. Go, you know, sit in your car for 15 minutes and listen to a guided meditation. Cool yourself out because ultimately, and I don't know if you're thinking about this, but I'm thinking about this quite a bit. The reason why, beyond just wanting to feel good, which I think is enough reason in itself, but another reason why we wanna do these routines and get our mental health in check is because we're gonna have a stronger immune system. I and mean, we've got a virus going on at the time of this video coming out, COVID is running rampant. So instead of getting really fearful and watching the news and you know, following up on the death count, invest in something that's actually going to boost your immune system. Those things are going to squash your immune system, okay? Fear, anxiety, anger, that all puts you in a state of being where your body's in a fight or flight, which means your immune system is suppressed. When you do any of the things I've talked about in this video for your mental health, that's gonna help boost your immune system, put you in a stronger state. So even if that COVID comes around, you're just like, wow, you give the back of your hand, you're like, not here, COVID, not today. And if you do invade me, I'm gonna have a strong body because I'm in, a, I'm in a, a relaxed state and my body doesn't have to worry about fighting through stress and anxiety and all these hormones that are bringing it into a fight state, but instead it's relaxed and so it can identify things coming in, viruses, and fight those and use the body's energy to protect you, which is what it's supposed to do. So big time overview here. Step number one, pick one thing you wanna be consistent with, whether it's meditation, going for a walk, affirmations, listening to your beliefs, doing gratitude. Pick something to start with, something that's gonna be at least five minutes. You block out that time to start your day before you do anything. And of course you can add it later. And then step two, if you want to start getting ambitious with this and you're like, you know what, I really want to feel good. I want to take this to another level. Then you can add more things, add as much as you want. And if you really, really are into this and you're like, you know what, now I see the possibilities. I realize I can actually control how I feel, how I behave and what I create. Now I need someone to guide me. That's why I put together that mental fitness guide that I talked about in the beginning of this video. It's a whole workbook. Honestly, it's something that I'll probably sell later in the future, but right now I'm so passionate about getting this to people because I know it works. It works with my one-on-one -on -one clients. It works with the other people who've been downloading it. So that's why I'm giving it to you for free as another tool to help you in your mental health routine. And if you do grab that guide, the routine is kind of built in because I give you homework that you do each day and it stretches out over eight weeks. So, and you take it at your pace. You don't have to go do it every single day. You go as fast as you want to go, all right? So that is how you build your mental health routine. Thank you so much for watching this video. I appreciate you so much. Again, my name is Brandon Epstein. If you wanna stay in contact with me, definitely subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any future videos and hit turn on the post notifications so you get notified when new videos come out. And finally, if you wanna reach out to me personally and get access to me, you can text me. My phone number is in the description below and that's for people in the US and Canada and otherwise you can just hit me on Instagram if you're elsewhere in the world. So thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next video.